everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zillia 2. Uh, if I'm correct, then Rideau is probably going to be the boss, or at least going to become involved in some regard. Let's get everyone's uh, HP healed up at the least. Oh, and TP, I suppose. Because, you know, why not? Get everyone prepared for the fight ahead. Alright then, let's kick some ass. No one gave you the floor, Madam Chancellor. Rideau, Down to kill it, bitch. Why are you doing this? Oh, now don't give me that look. I'm here to help you solve your Maxwell problem. Ah, there we go. It's like that guy racing or something. I don't know, looks like he's trying to pull off Zagi. He's no Zagi. What the hell are you talking about? Spirius knows the kind of Matrix art for summoning yeah. Maxwell. Yeah, right, Rideau. And I'm the king of Reza Maxia. <laughs> uh. Would you still think I was bluffing if I said Spirius was founded by Krisnik, the first human ever to summon Maxwell? If only the art weren't so messy. First of all, you need to have a living circuit. And the secret ingredient is a living sacrifice. There's no need for you to feign anger, Jude Mathis. You miss Maxwell, don't you? Your beloved wandering spirit. Take this! And this! That's adorable. It's even the same weapon I equipped to Mila. That's, that's just like good programming. I see you're quite a hit with the kids, Pony. She's no pony! Mila! is Mila! Afraid not. Say both of you? Isn't that rich? You're the one who needs to give up. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to leave the rest to you. Okay, I wonder what she said, because this is a bonus scene. <sighs> Yeah, there we go. I knew I wouldn't like you. How nice of you to join us, Mila Maxwell. May I borrow that sword from you? <sighs> Thank you. How nice. 
nice of you to summon me here. So that's how it is. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the abyss. Wrong tales of game. This sounds like pretty awesome music. Let's kick some ass! Now, this is going to be fun. Me, you idiot! You two ready? Yeah. Go wipe that smile away. Huh, not bad. Bingo! This guy's a joke. Get wrecked, son. No, I'm sorry. Get dunked! Get to Thank use you. your mystic art. I won't forget you. Shoot? What is this? Well. You don't get to use your mystic art, bitch. <laughs> uh, good old Terminus Pride. Well, aren't you a strong one, Mila Maxwell? I admit I'm rather impressed. I hope you'll go after the Waymarker with a similar sense of fervor. Yet they always do when someone says that. You have my thanks. You're here from Spirius, right? Hey, Luker? Where's Mila? 
Ella. The other one is gone. <gasps> It's really you. Uh, Mila! I searched everywhere for you. Sorry, Muse. I didn't mean to worry you. Any of you. Uh, I wasn't worried. We knew you'd be okay. It's good to see you again. I wasn't worried about you. There's another Mila, you know, and I'm worried about her. It's a brave thing she did. Madam Chancellor. Because of her and her selflessness, we can proceed with ratifying the peace accord. I knew there was going to be a bonus scene for Rowan. King Gaius, Prime Minister Rowan. For foiling this assassination attempt, you have my most sincere thanks. You'd have done the same. Given what's occurred, perhaps you'd like to sign the treaty here and now. Harmony between Riza Maxia and Olympias would please me very much. Here on the ship? We've heard that many high-ranking Olympian officials stand against the treaty. Don't you worry. We'll employ this attack as our chance to press the offensive against them. No doubt many of them have ties to Exodus, and if we can't find proof, we'll make some up. Figuratively speaking, of course. Didn't hear what? I was just thinking aloud. But whatever you choose to do with that tidbit is up to you. You're certain, madam? I pay my debts in full, Prime Minister. And besides, if I were too much of a do-gooder, you wouldn't trust me. <laughs> Are we really that easy to read, madam? I so look forward to dancing the diplomacy two-step with you, your highness. By your signatures, the treaty is ratified. Very good. We've crossed the first bridge, at least. A bridge of mere paper and ink. The gap between this deed and the will of the people is not easily traversed. A difficult road still awaits us. Well, that's a threadbare cliché. <coughs> However, it does ring true at the moment. Yes. If we keep setting one foot before the other, we can reach the ends of the Earth. You were a great help to me as well. It's not much, but consider this a small token of my thanks. Oh, just to be clear, this isn't a bribe. What did we get? Mila. We have little time. You're right. Let's review the situation. Don't call her Mila! Every time I hear it, I want to barf!
<laughs> a rose corsage. Uh oh. You'll see why I said uh oh later. Ooh, that's going on music. Oh, of course I gotta gotta take care of the kitties. Release the kitties. Why did you do it? Why did you let me fall back there? Oh, like I did. Even though she disappeared, that doesn't make sense. More than anything, she wanted to keep you safe. I just do. She was her own person, but she was still Mila Maxwell. We did sacrifice her. I can't deny it. But, by my sword, I swear to you that the loss of your Mila was not for nothing. I'm just a kid. Get to the point already, would ya? Fair enough. I'll say it more simply then. L, I want to go with you to the land of Canaan. I want you to see what I do there. Sounds like you mean business. You speak of Canaan. What's going on there? The soul purification has reached its limit. In the abyss, I saw it with my own eyes. There are too many fractured dimensions. Canaan is the only realm across all dimensions where the reincarnation process occurs. Thus it stands to reason that the impurity which must be cleansed from all those countless dimensions must be flowing into Canaan. If we do not eradicate those dimensions, the soul purification process will break down. In other words, the fractured dimensions are not only dispersing soul energy, they're also concentrating this impurity. Wonderful. Sounds like either one is enough to destroy the world on its own. What happens if soul purification breaks down? The resulting poisonous miasma will probably overflow. Oh, god damn it. It's always fucking miasma, damn it. Oh, god damn it. It's gonna be. Uh, so, so, so. Okay, okay. Let's make a backup plan just in case it breaks out. Only if we raise the land mass up into the sky. Place. I think that's the whole point of Origin's trial. So be Come it. On. We've no Give choice but to reach material, Canaan right there. and pass the Great Spirit's trial for the sake of all humanity. It is clear what wish we have to make to Origin. Destroy the fractured dimensions, so this one may live. We have detected that Maxwell is no longer blocking our passage. What kind of orders did Spirius give that redomaniac anyway? Did something happen with Director Rideau? 
Just checking. That means we can hightail it to the dimension containing the last way marker, right? Correct. However, right now the dimensional abyss is highly unstable. It will be some time before you can enter the rift with any degree of safety. We'll contact you once we've made our preparations. Selfish bastards. I'm the reason. I unfortunately caused it when I harnessed mana out of the schism to take on a physical body. With the temporal crossroads gone, you merely did what you had to. It's taboo nonetheless. I'm using mana meant for preserving the world to maintain my physical form. Hold on. I can only remain in the human realm for a finite amount of time. You say doesn't seem to be the same way, though. Just saying. Again. How's the cash stash? Is the dough rolling in? Are you having a gold rush? <laughs> I get paid by the pun, you know. God damn it. Her cheerfulness oh, is just... Not even a snicker? Come on. Bad time, <laughs> bitch. I, I had no idea. My boss just told me to give you a little push, so... I'm so sorry. We have a bit of time. We should prepare for our final trip into the breach while we await Farah's call. see you again one day I thought so too and I'm pleased to see you looking as well as ever these heavily populated areas certainly have a different feel to them you can just feel the energy in the air now she's just like literally floating several feet above the ground <laughs> show off We have to hurry to Canaan. The purification process is reaching its limit. Don't push yourself too hard, Mila. As if having to battle Kronos wasn't bad enough. You've spent a great deal of time trapped in the dimensional abyss. And do you think I'll listen when you tell me to take it easy? Ah, well, no, of course not. That is correct. This is no time to falter. And besides, you promised El. Not to mention the other me. After taking physical form in the human realm, I set about searching for Kronos. Then you managed to find him, I gather? No. He must have sensed my manifestation. And he found me. It took him no more than an instant to hurl me into the dimensional abyss. That must have been just before we all met him. There's no way to fathom how deep his powers go. But I can tell you this much. Of the three original spirits, Kronos' power is the strongest and most primal. More so than my own. He commands a power more primal than the elements that compose our universe? He is a terrible foe. But if he stands between us and the land of Canaan, a confrontation will be unavoidable. I guess this would be a good place to end off this episode, but uh, we'll see you dudes next time. Peace.